Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and I'm back with another Walking Dead video. So, at the time I'm recording this, we are about 10 days away from the return of Rick Grimes. It has been a long, long time since we've seen Rick, and it's almost here. So, I figured I would continue on with the What If videos. I've done a couple before. I've done... Uh, what if Shane killed Rick back in Season 2? Uh, what if Shane lived to Season 11 or through Season 11? Uh, I think there was another one, too. I forget which one it was. Uh, but I figured I would do this one here. What if Carl Grimes survived? If Carl Grimes lived in The Walking Dead Season 11, Rick Grimes returns. And, of course, the video is by George Drake. Um... I guess it would depend on a few different things. I guess this video here is going to continue with the Rick still um, still leaves. But I guess it would kind of depend on, you know, obviously, does he leave or does he stay? Um, I guess it would also depend on Judith as well. Because, you know, in season 10, season 11, you know, they aged her up quite a bit. She was like, what, 10 11 years old or so so if carl still lives do they still age judith up or do they kind of keep her well i'm guessing they probably have to age age her up to i'm guessing uh i don't know but i uh, you know would they still age her up because you know they kind of aged her up to kind of sort of fill in that carl role a little bit sort of so um, I think if Rick leaves, I think Carl would probably want to go look for, uh, obviously for Rick, uh, but it would come down to if Judith, if they don't age Judith up, I think he'd probably stay behind to, you know, keep an eye on her and stuff like that. I'm guessing, uh, if she, although if they age her up too, you know, what's he going to do? Say, hey, I'm going to go look for our father. You stay here. You know, she's going to be like, no, I'm going with you, you know? Um, so I'm not sure how that would that would play out. But if, you know, Carl stays behind with Judith and Michonne continues to, you know, goes off and looks for Rick and stuff like that, uh, obviously he would, you know, continue to look after Judith. I think him and Negan would probably, you know, continue that, you know, Uncle Negan um, storyline that, you know, Judith kind of had with him and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's my guess. I am not sure aside from that. Uh, obviously, it would just either be he either leaves or stays you know goes look for his father or stays behind and watches judith while michonne continues to go off looking uh for rick too um yeah i'm not sure what else would uh what else would happen i'm guessing a lot of the judith stuff we got would probably just transfer over to uh to rick maybe i mean um to carl i'm guessing maybe carl would be the one that to find out that you know, Rick is still alive, you know, maybe, um, what is it when Pamela, um, accidentally, was it Pamela? Uh, you know, when Judith, you know, accidentally got, or got shot and stuff like that, I think that would be, you know, the call role, call would get shot instead, and then he would probably be the one to tell Daryl, you know, Michonne is gone to, to look for Rick and stuff like that. I'm guessing maybe something like that is how it would probably play out. That's my guess, but we'll never know. Uh, so anyways, let's uh, take a look at the video and um, see what would happen if Carl never died. Here we go. One of the big things I would change about The Walking Dead is when Carl Grimes died. I was never even really overly keen on Carl. I liked him but in the it was still important. seasons. Street. He was a kid <laughs> acting like a kid. A realistic take 
for the kid <laughs> in the zombie apocalypse. In The Walking Dead shows now, they're like animatronics, so I've learned to appreciate it. After season six, I just didn't care for him as much. But one thing was for sure, Carl He was still Grimes very important to the show. should never die. Everything no. the main character, Rick, ever did in The Walking Dead was for Carl. In fact, Thanks, everything Kimball. great about this character was pending in the comics. It was just a season away, but he died. It was clear at this point that Morgan's time on the main show was coming to an end. From him reliving and coming back out of his all life is precious phase, he built that cell in Alexandria that would inevitably be for Negan and it would have made so much sense if Morgan died and that's why Rick spared Negan at the end of the season. Why? It'll give you some choices next time. But Morgan was very that popular. That would be the reason that Negan is spared was given to Carl. One of the main points of the show, why mm -hmm. it's even happening, both Rick and Laurie foreshadowed that he would be the one to go on. In the comics, it was such a meaningful yeah, thing that so much for that foreshadowing. after Rick died. He was a kid that was there from the start to then tell Thanks, the story. Thanks, Scott. Gimple. The show just completely denied that from happening. Some of that legacy has gone to Judith because yep. unlike the comics, she's still alive. And mm -hmm. although I wasn't totally keen on it, I like the concept and it makes sense that that's who the torch would next be passed <laughs> down to. I mean, she actually the represents hat. a lot. She was born back of the prison, but they didn't even sustain that for its cringe because they've created RJ, Rick Jr., a kid Michonne had off screen that Rick has still never met. It feels like some yeah, that... chess piece to the story with zero. Okay, now looking back at that, that is kind of stupid. You kill off Rick's son to give him another son. Okay. Answer me that question. You know? Does anyone have an answer? Why kill off Rick's son just to give him another son? Very important. I think he knows where he is. This game of chess could have been avoided if they just gave the legacy to whom it was intended to. So, what if Carl Grimes didn't die? Let's go straight into it, of course, before we do. Make sure we press the lock. Yeah, and his death was pointless. You know, what, he died for, what, Sadiq? And then, how long did Sadiq live for? <laughs> like button, and make sure you subscribe if you're new. <sighs> Starting from his death episode, season 8, episode 9, this is the only timeline where Carl Grimes could have survived. For this reality, Morgan built the cell and would later die from a bite. Saving Sadiq. So just like what actually happened with Carl, this meant Sadiq lived longer, which meant the communities had a doctor for years until Dante. Rick spares Negan, because the man he first met in the apocalypse told him that all life is precious and his mercy should prevail over his wrath. So with Morgan dead, but just before Rick beats Negan, Carl and Henry are at Hilltop. They're both watching the saviors that Maggie's in prison. I think it's here we see Henry trying to almost be like Carl, but a weaker, more reckless version. An echo of what he was like in season four. He wants to avenge his brother, Benjamin. Which one of you killed my brother? Carl is seeing premonitions of when he was younger, when he wanted to kill. He doesn't say which savior killed him. Oh, so he kind of takes him as a mentor. To Hilltop and break the news that Morgan was bitten and just died. But after Carl hears that Morgan passed, the man who once told him to never be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. He tells Henry it was Gavin. This was part of Carl always oh. trying to save Henry. Because of course he killed Gavin already when Jared killed Benjamin. He was stopping his need for vengeance right there. Now in the show when Carl actually died, Rick and Morgan ran into each other and would end up going to hunt down the saviors. Maybe. Maybe you shouldn't be out. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. But they got captured by them, and this basically turned into a big slaughter. We saw Rick and Morgan just completely lose it. Rick gave the saviors his word, but they killed all of them. I'm giving you my <laughs> word. A lot. This is one of, if not the lowest Savage. we've seen Rick. With Morgan dead, I think this would have been Carl. As Jared killed Benjamin and Carl sympathised with Henry being his kid that wants revenge. To stop that, he does it himself. He 
kills Jared. And again, with Rick leaving the next season, this would be the start of Carl seeing how far he's gone. It's nearly his time. Okay, so Rick is still leaving. Rains, which, let's be real, should have happened. Before the final act of the war, Michonne tries relaying Morgan's message to Negan to try and stop the war before more people die. And, yeah. Yeah, but him and Negan, um, Morgan and Negan didn't really have, like, a, you know, a, c a connection like him and Carl did, you know? They were having that chat, and, you know, oh, let me see that eye, let me see the, you know, you know, he, him and Carl just had more of a connection, I mean, you know, Morgan left this message for you, like, who's Morgan, you know, like, uh, whatever you know i a guy i saw maybe like once or twice and you, you know i mean i don't think it would have like the 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 same effect as him and carl you know having all those things and you know the um uh the attack on on alexandria and stuff and you know carl was up there and he, you know what was it he, he wanted to you know die if, if you have to do this then 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 take me and you know negan was kind of like you, you know like wait a minute, like, do you really want to die? And, you know, he was having, like, that moment and stuff like that. You know, Morgan left this note for you, you know, like, I don't think it would just have the same effect as it did, you know, hey, Carl had this with you, you know, left this note for you. I don't think it would have the same effect. I think he took it quite well. A year passes after Rick beats Negan. Their new beginning story arc begins. Everything is how you first saw it, but Carl is still here, and he looks like he did in the comics at this point. Michonne still does what she does. Judith is even there too. But after Rick leaves, after that time jump, there's not going to be an RJ. We have Carl, so we don't need right. him. This is my world now. Did the baby me go to his friend's house after that? <laughs> Rick blows up the bridge and, as they think, dies. Okay, so the rest is playing out. Yep. Six years have gone by. Daryl and Carl look for any sign of him and his body for months on end. Carol and a now more grown Henry try convincing them to come back, but to no avail. Until they do come back when the walkers start talking. When Henry was Ooh. in the show, he fell back a lot from what Carl actually that would be cool. involved in, even though he took Carl's comic storyline. When Michonne and Daryl capture Lydia, he would have been there with them. The Lydia storyline in the show was literally made, sculpted for Carl, so if he was still alive, he would 100% get that. They even had that thing with Enid and Alden, with Henry getting a bit jealous. That was made for Carl. Although I did like Henry hmm. covering it and setting up that pipe reveal. Still yeah, so I mean, the story's still kind of play so just different Carl characters his comic storyline who dies on the pikes in henry's place oh. still henry it was yeah. a big part of carol's story however tedious you think that might have been it led to carol being blinded by her need for vengeance and that cave incident we're creating oh, okay. a timeline yeah, so with carl to Grimes that stays as close to the canon story as it possibly can so although carl is with lydia getting that comic storyline henry's in the background being jealous he'd be tailing them he liked enid just as he liked lydia so would have been passively jealous oh. the exact same way and ended up on the bikes. I think there is a chance that if Carl survived, Enid would have survived too because she should have a lot more use. Even though there was potential, in the end she just existed to affect and develop other characters once she died. All she ever did was eat a turtle and make me cringe. She died and turned into XP for Alden. Who's to say if Carl was still alive? She <laughs> turned into to XP. Friends, or, you know, connected characters in the show, being Jesus who died, Maggie who left, and then just Alden. I think by the end of the show, her storyline was to just die and give Alden that whisper of rage, you know, have him take part in the war and sympathise with Gamma later and look after baby Adam for about 10 minutes before he died. I think Enid was just a character that was never truly utilised. It's just more to say that when Carl died, a lot of things collapsed, which yep. is fine, but this is what could have been. I think it's here we'd see Carl Grimes' real rage against the Whisperers, another character that would have lost a lot from them. So it wouldn't just be Carol blindly chasing vengeance. It would also be Carl. Even with everything Carl preached, because Enid died, it would be Carl too. He didn't Ooh. just lose Enid, he knows what Lydia had to go through. And of course, at this point, Henry had basically been Carl's trainee in this timeline, the younger version of himself. So I think it'd be quite close to Carol in getting What is that the from? Carl with he the gun? how he got when people died in the show. He wanted to make sure it never happened again. Mm -hmm. The episode that followed in the season 9 finale was called The Storm, 
where we saw a snowstorm. At first we see it <laughs> start on Lydia, which I've always found ironic considering he was a saviour, but understandable when Enid's just been killed by her mum. Is that them? People watching us now, huh? Only followed their rules. I mean, they're enough to us. Hi. In this situation, Carl would defend her and then late, so when Lydia tries to get herself bitten, Carl stops her. With Carl in the show, Lydia would be a much bigger character, almost like what Andrea was in the comics, but for the show. Because remember, not oh, only did Lydia, really? but Michonne left, so it, w it would have been Carl and Lydia holding their place. She wouldn't be some background character that had her arm off just to do something. <laughs> Yeah. It would be cool to have a Carl, Negan, and Daryl fight with Beta, especially oh, in this cool. timeline where Daryl and Carl are like the new duo. So I think that would happen roughly the same, but just a lot better. You know, Negan got flawed. It would have been really cool to see Negan and Carl both fight against Beta yeah. and fighting the other Whisperers and Zombies. That yeah, that would cool. have been cool. To think about. But we did get Daryl saving Negan, which is good in its own way. I think yeah. Negan would still kill Alpha, and it yep. would still be Carol sending him, but Carl mm -hmm. would just be with Lydia. Halfway right. through season 10, Michonne meets Virgil, and he claims to have weapons and supplies over on this island. Of course, this turned out to be just him being sick, but she found valuable clues of Rick's whereabouts, mm -hmm. of his boots and the foam of the writing and sketches on it. And before she went with Virgil, I think Carl would have stayed with Judith and Daryl in the first place, which means okay. in episode 13, when Michonne contacts Judith about following it would have been Carl. Rick, Carl would be the one hearing this and he would offer to come with her, but as she inevitably she would say no. go by herself, he yeah. would immediately tell Daryl. Because what actually happened oh. is Judith didn't tell Daryl. It was frustrating and felt like a massive plot hole. I mean, why not tell the guy that was just... Because then Daryl, you know, if... if if Judith told Daryl, then Daryl was going to obviously leave and then she would have been alone. Carl was there. He would have told Daryl. Daryl still probably wouldn't have left, but then Judith wouldn't have been alone because she would have been with Carl. I get it. So I kind of think, I kind of think it, well, no, that's changed a little bit. I was going to say it was probably play out the same, you know, when Judith got shot instead, it'd be Carl who gets shot. And then as she's like, you know, going in and out, you know, uh, when she finally tells Daryl, you know, uh, Rick's alive, Michonne's gone to go look for her, then it would have been, um, then it would have been Carl. But I guess that would not have happened then since Carl would have told Daryl sooner. Hmm. Strought about Rick and looked for him for the better part of the whole time jump that Michonne had basically found out that he wasn't actually dead. The reason we got is that she didn't tell him because she thought he'd leave too after Michonne already went. It's yep. understandable because she's younger, it's what a kid would do. <laughs> and it would obviously be saved for when Daryl did inevitably find out and leave the show himself. But Carl, he would tell Daryl. Now when it comes to the Reapers and the Commonwealth, I think Ooh. what happened would stay roughly the same because it okay. was a passive season compared to the comics. It got yeah. shrunk down because it basically had to. In the comics it was the be all and end all. In the show it was impossible for it to do that because it's not the be all and end all. With all the shows coming, the spin-offs and more right. importantly Rick, mm -hmm. the main character. The scene that comes to mind the most when thinking of Carl existing in the Commonwealth storyline is when Daryl is dressed up as one of the gods and you've got Hilton. Oh, it'd be Carl? And then Daryl is saying, no, I mean, which side of the fence would Carl be? He would 100% either be next to Daryl dressed up or next to Aaron and Gabriel or completely replacing Elijah. Elijah was so hmm. contrived. He got with Lydia too, so I think it's safe to say this is what Carl would be doing, but on a okay. bigger scale. Interesting. Carl. In the show, Dwight's comic death barely happened with Leah, and Rick's comic death, I think, could even be saved for a bigger storyline. They both could. I think Carl probably would have been the one to kill Sebastian or Lance. Killing Sebastian oh, that'd be, be cool. Go back to the comics because that'd Sebastian be awesome. Rick in the comics. With how he was at the end of the show, it would be cool if he was given that job to go out and reach other communities with Aaron and Gabriel. But where would Carl end up? I think he'd go with Daryl. Remember, if he had survived, he would have already been out there with Daryl for years looking for him. So if Daryl's going, about Judith? this is their mission. So at the end of The Walking Dead, Daryl and Carl both leave to go and find Rick. But then what about Judith? 
and I think inevitably Rick and Daryl will reunite. If Carl was still alive, he could have reunited with him too, and I think there'd be a much more justified story. I mean, it makes sense that this kid would go on and be the new leader of the show, and yeah. handle everything while Rick is gone. I think killing Carl Grimes is one of the biggest mistakes a TV show has ever made. Mm -hmm. It was still good after him, but it just made it feel less grounded. Fates in TV shows are meant to be sad and hard-hitting, but this just Yeah, it was just more wrong. like... It felt really the fuck? from the space from episode 9 to the season finale of season 8 it just felt like it shouldn't have happened. Sometimes yeah, it just it felt like, like what actually happened is the alternate timeline. Why? This is what was meant to happen. As much as I love Morgan and I'm entertained from him in Fear the Walking Dead, I feel like this is where he should have died. It was the right mm. time. Now, I, I don't know if there is a right time. I don't know. Sometimes it feels novelty. Now, you know me, I'm a piece of filth when it comes to fictional death and crossovers, but I don't think this was the the best choice to make. I've always seen this as the point when Carl died and Morgan crossed over, where The Walking Dead lost a bit of itself, but I hope because he didn't die in season 8, whenever his story does end, it's more fitting and hopefully bigger and better than whatever season 8 would have offered him anyway. I want Morgan's story to end, reuniting with Rick because I think inevitably he will, and if he's gonna die he have a to. sacrificial death, that saves a lot of people, unless he dies in fear season 8, which honestly I wouldn't put it past the, those writers. They could rationalize Analyze E.T. being in it at this point. They, they do what they want, whatever. But I want to be clear, I love Morgan, and I've said before, Fear the Walking Dead, as of lately, is like an energy drink. It's crappy, but I like it. It, it just is entertaining. It's not as good as it was since season three, but it's I love crappy, Morgan. It's crappy, but I like it. The show. I just feel like The Walking Dead suffers from itself sometimes. It's like in its attempt to do more, it's changed plans and differed from the original plans that they're probably were. So that big ending that you would have wanted while watching the show for the first time, the main show didn't have that, it couldn't have that. I think that will now be whenever the end of Rick Grimes' story is. So for example, the end of the Rick and Michonne show, but this is what I think would happen if Carl Grimes didn't die, but we'll never know for sure. What do you think would happen if Carl survived? Would you rather he did? Would you have preferred someone else in his place? Or are you completely mm. okay with what actually happened? Let me know what you think down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. No, I think what happened was crap. Got loads more coming. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Nah, I kind of think what happened was crap and, and pointless. You know, it didn't really feel much for anything. It's like, you're killing Carl? Like, more confused than like... Oh my god, you're killing Carl! You know, it's like... Why are you killing him? Doesn't make sense. Um, okay, y you know, it just... I don't know. And then for them to, you know, like I said, kill Rick's son, only to give him another son... What's the what was the point? He he already had a son. So he killed his son to give him another son. Okay. I I don't have an answer for that one. Don't know how that makes sense. Um yeah, I don't know. Uh, but so many missed opportunities. Uh, I think that would have been interesting. Uh, did how, like, you know, a lot of things did play out, and, you know, did make sense. You know, um, instead of Judith finding out, you know, uh, Rick's still alive, it would have been Carl. Uh, instead of Judith holding it back from Daryl, you know, because obviously Daryl would have left and then she would have been alone. You know, Carl would have said, you know, hey, uh, Rick's still alive and stuff like that. You know, Daryl probably still, probably still would have left. Um, but then Judith still wouldn't have been alone. She would have been there with Carl. So, you know, she's she's not alone. Um, trying to think of what else uh, things just didn't, you know, didn't make sense. I think it would have been cool to see, um, you know, uh, the Daryl, uh, Daryl Negan, Carl fighting uh, Beta. That would have been cool. Even though that fight was kind of I think that that fight could have been a little bit more. That just seemed like a very, a very disappointing fight there at the end. That was kind of, kind of lame. What uh, Beta 
tackling Negan, taking him to the ground and stuff like that, and then like Daryl cutting him a couple of times and then just stabbing him right in the eyes. It's like, really? Come on, the first fight with him and Daryl was like so much better. The second one was just, you know, I was expecting like so much more, like, you know, seeing Daryl just being like tossed around, Negan getting like, you know, his ass handed to him and stuff like that. But no, no, just a, ah, huh, right in the eyes. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, Carl with Liddy and stuff like that. That would have been interesting. Same thing with the uh, stuff with the with Henry. Um, even though a lot of that stuff still would have played out the same-ish, you know. Um, Carl killing Sebastian. That would have been cool to see. Um, yeah, just so many... So many uh, things we just kind of missed out on. I don't think uh, having Morgan die would have made a whole lot of a whole lot of sense to me. I don't think, because you know, when they were reading the note to Negan and stuff like that, you know, like I said earlier, Negan had much more of a connection, you know, to Carl and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the future serial killer and stuff like that. And let me see your eye and, you know, take that shit off. You know, show that eye. Um, you know, he just had that more of a connection. So, y y you know, when, when he died and they're reading that note, of course, that, you know, kind of impacted Negan more. I mean, what are you going to do? Here's a note from a guy you hardly even know. Y you know, you maybe came across him... How many times did, like, Negan and Morgan even come across each other? Did they? No. No. I don't even think they did. At least not that I can remember off the top of my head. So, I mean... Hey, this guy that you barely even met left you this note. Whatever, you know, who the hell's he? What's a Morgan? Who's Morgan? You know, I don't know, I don't know Morgan. You know, so I don't think that part would have worked, you know, with Morgan dying and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so much shit we, you know, just missed out on and... A lot of things just didn't make any sense at all, you know. Thanks, Scott Gimple. I'd love to see you explain that one. The big question, why did you kill Rick's son only to give him another son a season or two later? Can you explain that? <laughs> you know, um, yeah. I don't know, but yeah, it is... It is what it is. The show's over. Nothing we can do about it. You just kind of be like... It is what it is. You know, they, they killed Carl off for whatever reason, despite the foreshadowing. You know, you're strong. You're going to survive this. Yeah, about that, Mom. Nope. <laughs> I sacrificed myself for a guy who died like a season later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. So, anyways, there we go. There's the video. What if Carl Grimes survived? If Carl Grimes, Carl Grimes lived in The Walking Dead Season 11. Very interesting. Like I said, I always enjoy these because it's always fun to see what would happen you know, if this moment happened, if this character lived, if this character died, how would things have played out differently? I always enjoy these. Uh, hopefully there's still uh, other ones I can do and stuff like that, because like I said, I enjoy these. But uh, yeah, we are about 10 days away from the return of Rick Grimes. I can't wait to see him once again. What type of Rick Grimes are we going to have? Are we going to have just, you know, season 5 murder jacket? Rick Grimes? Are we going to have a, a, a whole new Rick Grimes? Uh, are we going to have a handless Rick Grimes? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, I can't wait. So anyways, on that, um, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links in the description box below. And of course, you know, leave me all your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think about the video? Uh, what do you think would happen if Carl lived? How do you think things would have played out? What would have been different? Um, do you agree with the whole doesn't make sense of killing Carl and then getting RJ? Uh, do you even like RJ? Um, you know, I mean, think about it now. It's like, kind of don't. Like, he uh, doesn't. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you know, watching this video is like, yeah, RJ is kind of pointless now. Like, I don't know. Do they just want another sibling the same age as Judith? Or... I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, other than that, um, yeah, just stick around. More videos are on the way. And I will see you guys next time.